still a technique. Occipital atlantal joint extended, side bent left, rotated right. Ask the patient to sit comfortably on the edge of the table. Stand in front of the patient. Adjust the table so the patient's head is at or just below your eye or shoulder level. Contact of tissues. Monitoring hand. Contact the occiput near the occipital condyle on the side of rotation. Layer palpate to the occipital bone to monitor for tissue texture changes and motion. Operating hand. Contact the vertex top of the patient's head, which will be used as a long lever. Application of principles. Monitoring hand. This hand is used to ensure that the operating hand is localized to the level of the dysfunctional segment and will move with the dysfunctional segment. Operating hand. Place the occiput in the position of the somatic dysfunction in all three planes using the head as a lever. In this example, extended, side bent left, rotated right. The monitoring hand should detect some decreased tissue tension. Add a downward compressive force just until the force is felt with your monitoring hand. Tension in the surrounding suboccipital musculature should again decrease slightly. Visualization. View the activating force as a vector from your operating hand directly to your monitoring hand. View the long lever as one functional unit. Fluidly move the patient's head to move the occiput in all three planes of motion. Simultaneously toward, then through the restricted barrier. In this example, flexion, side bent right, rotated left. Release the compressive force. Return the patient's head and neck to the neutral position. Retest. Retest for somatic dysfunction of the occiput.